Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is simplify some trigonometric expressions. Now we have sec x cos x. So sec we know is 1 over cos. And we're multiplying that by cosine. So 1 over cosine times cosine is just going to be 1. Cot x over cosec x. So as you'll see as we progress through here, uh, in a number of cases, what we're going to do is we're going to split uh, trigonometric functions into their um, principal parts. So cot x, we know, although it's 1 over tan, is also cos over sine. So cos over sine over cosec, which we know is 1 over sine. So we have cos over sine times sine over 1, okay, because we're dividing by a fraction. It's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, the signs here will cancel each other out, so we'll be left with cosine of x. Now, for number 3, we've got sec squared minus tan squared plus cot squared, okay? Now, sec squared minus tan squared, if we just focus on that bit first, if we go over to our identities here, if I subtract tan squared from both sides... then we will get 1. So sec squared minus tan squared is 1. So this is 1 plus cot squared x. And 1 plus cot squared, we know, is cosec squared. And so this uh, expression simplifies just to cosec squared. Now, for sine plus tan over 1 plus sec x, I would advise, um, because we have no squares there, uh, no squares of trig functions, I would advise going to their principal part. So let's write it as sine x plus sine x over cos x, all over 1 plus sec x, so 1 plus uh, 1 over cos. So what we'll want to do at this point um, is multiply through by cosine. That will get rid of the cosine in the uh, denominators within the fraction. So we'll have sine x cosine x plus sine x in the numerator. And in the denominator, we'll have cosine x plus 1. Now, the numerator here can be factorised. So if we factor out the sine, we'll have cosine x plus 1 in a bracket and cosine x plus 1 in the denominator. So we have a common factor to the numerator and denominator, so these will cancel, leaving me with just sine of x. Now number 5, tan x plus cot x equals cosec squared x. So... If we do a similar thing to what we did up here, tan x is sine x over cos x. Cot is cos over sine. And cosec squared x is 1 over sine squared. Now the numerator here, we could uh, cross multiply okay, to combine those two fractions. So sine times sine is sine squared x. Cos times cos is cos squared x. And the denominator will have sine x cos x. All over 1 over sine squared. Okay. Now sine squared plus cos squared we know is 1. So we have 1 over sine x cos x all over 1 over sine squared. Let's write that a little bit better. There we are. Okay. So that's 1 over sine x cos x times sine squared over 1. Okay. Now, we have a sine x here and a sine x here that will cancel, leaving me with a sine x in the numerator, cos x in the denominator, so sine over cos is tan. Okay, so this uh, expression simplifies to just tan x. So finally, we have number six. 
So what we're going to do here is multiply out the brackets. Right, so we've got one lot of cosec, then one lot of minus cot, then cos times cosec, and then cos x times minus cot. So minus cos cot. So what we'll want to do here uh, is rewrite cosec cot um, in terms of sine and cosine. So cosec we know is 1 over sine. And we've got minus cot, which is minus cos over sine. Then we've got cosine x times cosec, so plus cos x times 1 over sine. Take away cos x times cot, which is cos over sine. Okay. Now, what we've got here is cos over sine, a uh, minus cos over sine, plus a cos over sine. So these will cancel. So we've got 1 over sine x, take away cos x, um, well, cos squared over sine x. So let's rewrite that. So we've got 1 over sine, take away cos squared over sine x. Now these two have a common denominator, so we can combine them to be 1 minus cos squared x over sine x. Now 1 minus cos squared, if I subtract the cos squared from both sides of this identity, I get left with sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. So this is sine squared x over sine x. And so a sine x can cancel from numerator and denominator, leaving me just with a single sine x. So this expression simplifies to just sine x. So as you can see, in a multitude of, um, well, in a... In many different circumstances when simplifying trigonometric expressions, uh, we're breaking things down into sines and coses and simplifying that way. And if we're able to, notably in example number three, we can go straight to the identities to help us simplify a problem.